Roland Tapore was a French cartoonist, painter, novelist, playwright, and actor, among others. Born in 1938 in Paris to a family of Jewish refugees from Poland, he was the son of Polish landscape painter Abraham Jeciel Topor. Following the German invasion of France, he was sent off to surrogate parents in Savoy where his father was interred in the Pitivir's internment camp. After the end of the war, he studied at the Lycée Jacques de Coeur in Paris between 1946 and 1955 and then at the École des Beaux Arts until 1964. He had his early success as a cartoonist, publishing his illustrations in the Bizarre and Le Rire magazines. Inspired by Surrealism, he wrote such works as the play Vinci avec raison, which concerns the overflowing lavatories at a constipated policeman's newly acquired house. He was also responsible for the bizarre look and design of the 1973 animated film La Planète Sauvage, known in English as Fantastic Planet. Topor died in 1997 of intracranial hemorrhage following a fall. The Tenant, originally published in 1964, is probably Topor's best-known work in English as a result of its having been adapted as a movie by Roman Polanski in 1976. The book begins with certain Trelkovsky, who really urgently needs to find an apartment. He finds a place eventually where the previous tenant tried to commit suicide and is on life support at hospital, and after a lot of haggling with the landlord, he manages to secure the place after going along to see the former tenant in hospital, and after managing to have a good time with said tenant's good friend who happened to be also visiting around the same time, due to simply omitting the fact that he didn't know the tenant at all. However, once he has a bunch of his friends over for a housewarming party, he is suddenly confronted by one of his angry neighbours, who from then on seem all fixated on finding any reason at all to complain about the noise he is making, be it real or imaginary. Terrified of losing his apartment, Terelkovsky starts avoiding his friends, but soon he notices other odd things about his apartment and about the behaviour of his neighbours, and he begins to suspect that his neighbours seek through a massive conspiracy to slowly transform him into Simone, the previous tenant, and then to kill him in the same way in which she died, namely being thrown out of a window, all down to dressing him up in drag as he sleeps and putting makeup all over his face. Roland here never addresses the topic of transgenderism, but he does at one point have his main character express a rather bizarre idea, namely that every homosexual is basically Jesus, as far as self-sacrificing tendencies are concerned anyway. Overall, it is a good and entertaining surreal novel with a Kafkaesque plot, though there were two or three times when the book was a trifle too disgusting in some of the particulars of a scene. Still, it is a really good book, and luckily, since I have not seen the film before, I had no preconceptions of what it should or should not be.